Today, we're gonna to talk about how to use AI to write $10 million plus VSL scripts. If you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel Fazio. I currently make above $1 million per month. I'm the co-founder of Client Ascension and List Kit. I believe every singular thing I do sell uses a VSL funnel. So if you're not using VSL funnels, you're making a substantial mistake, but you're here right now. So I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna teach you how to do it using AI. Before we get into this video, if you wanna see the actual VSL that I am actively scaling to cold traffic with $6,000 per day in ad spend, Click the first link in the description. You can download it and watch the real actual thing as an example of what this creates. So let's talk about this real quick, B2B versus B2C. This guide is exclusively for B2B offers, specifically offers where you are not selling to poor people. We will be generating logic-based arguments, not emotional-based arguments. So if your market makes decisions based on emotion and not logic, this will therefore not work. It is for B2B offers only. So step one, and this is the core premise of everything that's going on here. So you need about 10 to 15 recordings of live sales calls from actual actual people who are interested in this offer, right? Specifically the transcripts in TXT format, not PDF. Do not extract this as a PDF. You also can't do it as an MP4 or MP3. It has to be the actual transcription file, ideally in TXT format, right? The best way to do this is using a note taker app like Fireflies or Fathom on your Zoom calls, and then extract the TXT transcripts of 10 to 15. You could actually probably get up to about 20. You're just gonna be limited by cloud limits. So you wanna upload these to a cloud project, upload 10 to 15. So what does that look like? So if I go over here, this is Claude. If you haven't used Claude before, you're gonna use a Claude project. How do you get to Claude projects? And you'll need 3.5 Sonnet too. So you'll need like the pro plan of Claude. Go up here, Claude projects. And then what you do is I'll go into this one, for instance, you upload project knowledge. And what project knowledge is, it's just, here's your knowledge. Here's what you know. So for instance, I've got, I believe 12 recordings of sales calls right here. And it was the TXT file or a docx file. So it's just raw text, right? So 12, I could probably double this to about 24 based off of this right here. It has a capacity. And what you want to do is once you upload those, you're going to start prompting. So the first prompt we're going to do is along the lines of we have an offer where I'm putting this in quotes so you can inject it. What your offer is, who it's for, what it helps them accomplish. I need your help with writing a video sales letter for this offer. What are some core value propositions, key points, pain points, and questions I need to address in the video? Take time for yourself to contemplate this. If you feel like you need to ask me follow-up questions to generate a better answer, please do so. So that's what I did right here is the first prompt. Go all the way up here. I wrote in what we do and then then it basically just walked me through some key insights that I would have otherwise not understood. So this is a good practice for kind of understanding where your offer falls. But secondarily, the next prompt we want to do is this. So this is for getting the section of the VSL. Can you extract the most common objections and questions and list them out for me in descending order of the frequency with which they're asked? So let me head back over to this and it's right here. Can you extract the most common objections and questions and list them out for me in descending order of the frequency with which they're asked? So this is for a different offer than the one I'm showing you, but it was about data quality and source questions. So if you want to know, like this is for a data offer, if you want to know where we got the data from, how accurate it is, how do you verify it, what's the bounce rate, then they want to know about volume and coverage, then price and value questions, then technical integration, then specifics, and then deliverability, and then contract and commitment terms, and then support and implementation. And this is the exact sequence that they ask the questions. Why is that important? Why do we specifically want to know the frequency and descending order that they ask the questions? Because if you order it, this is just a little mathematical trick. If you have a shit ton of people and you order it in descending frequency of the order that they're asked, it by nature, just by raw math, comes out to be the exact order order, the exact logical order that the questions are answered. Why is that important in a VSL? Because you want to present an answer to a question and then present the answer to the next logical question that arises from the answer to the first question. So you get a second order question. You see what I mean? You have to anticipate what is going to be asked. That's why you specifically need to say in descending order of the frequency with which they're asked, right? So what does that mean? So when I do this for the cold email setup offer, this is what I get. They want to know expected ROI and results, how the system works the typical KPIs and how many leads and clients they can get, what's included in the offer, what's the pricing and case studies from other people. Therefore, in that VSL for the cold email setup offer, this is the table of contents. It's literally the same exact thing. You see what I mean? Like it's literally just these questions answered in order. The difference between marketing and sales, marketing is being able to anticipate the question that somebody is going to have before they ask it. Marketing is just a sales call without the other person present. Therefore, what you want to do is 
make sure that you are answering the questions in the exact order that's going to be asked. What's the best way to do that? By extracting it from the sales call because marketing just is a sales call without the other person present. That's literally what a VSL is, is a video sales letter. So you just answer the questions that they already ask on the sales call. Does that make sense? I hope it does because I made fucking $10 million doing it. So do you want a full breakdown of the VSL? If so, click the link in the description, enter your details, and I will send you both the actual VSL that I'm scaling at $6,000 per day to cold traffic, not warm, not fucking warm. This is different. Warm and cold is completely different. There's a cold traffic VSL. Very important. You need cold traffic shit. That's what this is. And I'll give you a breakdown of it. If you click the first link in the description, put your name, email, phone number in there, and I'll send it to you. If you put fake data in, you're not going to get it because I'm going to email it to you, right? I'm going to text it to you. If you put fake data in, you won't get it. All right, cool. I love you. My name is Daniel Fazio. If you got some value, subscribe. All right, peace.